hello guys it's so good to be back here again thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate it thank you for your love and your support you guys have been awesome it's been a wonderful time right here and hope you had a nice day and having a nice day and uh, of course this is saffron media we give you trending exciting reliable and authentic news at every hour yes and right here adam so shamole records one of his best comments ever bridges political divide and there were a lot of reactions after he made this statement of course in one of our previous posts we uh, brought you the full details of this because he was talking about uh, you know the election that was the first time he ever said anything regarding the just concluded Edo state election and this time around he has uh, also decided to post it on his twitter handle and there were a lot of rea reactions to that a lot of nigerians reacted to that uh, his comment on twitter anyway guys i will dive right into the details of this but before then if you haven't subscribed to this channel please ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on the notification bell because that is the best way you get notified anytime we drop a new video okay guys without further ado let us uh give you the details of what adam sashamale posted on his twitter handle and see how nigerians and edo light responded and reacted to that comment people react as a shamala record one of his best comments ever bridges political divide in life you win some and lose some but life goes on that was Oshamole admits this is certainly the philosophy that every modern politician ought to adopt and model even in the valley of defeat no wonder the former APC national leader said he is not affected by the defeat suffered by the party from the gubernatorial race in Edo. This statement has bridged the divide amongst partisans and indeed changed the narrative and perception of people about comrade Adams Oshamole. The Edo political icon in the early hours of Thursday put up a tweet on his official Twitter handle that has made many think him as a hero on his twitter handle he wrote he said in life you win some and lose some but life goes on and he put his name right there he said adams or shamole after the result of the election was announced many have flooded the media with diverse conful information and posts about a shamole some even made videos and composed songs just to scorn and add salt to injury Regarding APC's defeat at the polls, at the same time, many were looking out to hear what Oshomole would say this time around. Indeed, even the enemies of the veteran politicians are not disappointed at the warrior statement delivered on Twitter. But of course, you know Oshomole must have things off his sleeve when he writes things like this. It's just because he's helpless and does not have where to go, especially now that he's no longer the national chairman of the All Progressive Congress. So he's actually powerless to do a lot of things. It's just like a normal member. Remember, he also wrote on uh, his uh, Twitter handle that he, while the election was going on, he was telling the APC members that he is a nobody. He is just a floor member in the APC that is not is neither the uh, all progressive congress national chairman neither is he anything regarding the election he is just a floor member so he has actually accepted the fact that he is nothing and some of the replies he got from that tweet where he said in life you win some and lose some but life goes on some of the replies from nigerians and from edo people someone said seriously loads of reputation for comrade at nlc and even for his eight years as governor but something happened recently that i cannot understand again he called the man a thief and in just four years he called the same man a saint hmm it is well that was from that person and another said i will never stop wondering what happened to you the nlc of Shomale was all about justice equity fair play human rights what happened and another say you are born winner by comrade ever loyal and uh, someone also said did you contest for election you just want to impose your candidates on your people against their will and uh, you know nigerians are not smiling another said he did he did he has been he wanted to impose the strategy would have been dif different but he just did what every politician does 
That's to support his or party's candidate. Remember how he made Atiku run for his money. Saraki to retirement. He's still a champion. And another said, God bless you, sir. You did your best. Your intentions were noble. Unfortunately, the majority chose to overlook the past and deliberately decide to be gullible. Time will judge. And another said, you are a champion, sir. You have won many sweet battles that gave bitter memories to your enemies. You made a sitting Senate president parking. Billionaires went bankrupt because of you. The guys that sees us as enemy has come to limelight through your kindness. So nothing they happen. And another said, this law stuns you to a motivational speaker. Oh my God. Ha ha ha. No be small thing, chairman. If you apply these principles from the very beginning, you won't be singing these songs of regret. Indeed, no man is God. Another said he joined. He don't join. Aspire to aspire to refire to retire, gang. He has been taught the bitter lesson of life in a humiliating way that pride goes before a fall. Despite all the pleas and clamor to make peace with Obaseki, he openly called a lizard who can't who can't do nothing to a lion. And Oshomole, uh, at the end of the day, everything about him is uh, actually a shame. And another said, my point of contention is why can't Nigeria talk without being so abusive and insultive life is all about competition surely no one will win but when saraki dino it is a lost election you boasted that you were retired you were re retired then from policy from politics now that you lost it became you lose some you win some i'm ashamed and disappointed in your ego that drove you oblivion and another said after humiliation by the man you refer to as lizard shame on you and there were so so many comments that i would not want to you know read right here but of course uh that simple comment he posted on his twitter handle has caused a lot of you know uh different speculations and different uh suggestions and uh you know reactions and uh you know insult as well but you know it is what it is and we hope that he has actually learned his lessons from this very uh just concluded elections and he should raise up his head again and fight for the next phase of his life yes so guys from here it's been always exciting to bring you all of these details because of course you want to know what is going on in nigeria and everything happening in the uh, uh sphere in the area of uh, edo and all every other parts of nigeria so guys thank you so much for listening i really appreciate you if you haven't subscribed please ensure you hit the subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up thank you for being here do have a pleasant time bye for now